Good day. My name is Manek Marie. I'm the Corporate Relations Manager for the Cancer Association of South Africa. We are hosting the Cup for Cancer today in a beautiful garden setting as it's spring and we've got summer lying ahead of us. The Cup for Cancer is hosted and sponsored by Five Roses Tea. And then I have the wonderful privilege of having Roseanne McKenzie with me today as our MC for this event. Roseanne is such a well-known household brand in South Africa and TV personality actress and welcome Roseanne to this wonderful Cup for Cancer and thank you for supporting the Cancer Association of South Africa. Thank you Manuk. It is always so great for me when I can get involved with anything that cancer does. So it's an absolute pleasure to be here today. You've been involved with Cup for Cancer before and would you mind to tell the people why Cup for Cancer? So Cup for Cancer is one of the Cancer Association of South Africa's long-standing events and I think it really is so great because it fosters this kind of sense of community where people come together, they share a cup of tea and something nice to eat and it's a celebration. So it's a celebration of life or maybe a kind of thinking back to someone who maybe didn't survive their fight with cancer and to celebrate that person. So obviously now with the situation that we found ourselves in in this year where there's been social distancing and we need to be apart, this is a time where we can now, with a virtual couple for cancer, we can be together even if we are apart. And for the past three years, uh, Five Roses has been a very, very generous sponsor of Couple for Cancer. And it's been a really great partnership to continue to do these celebrations, even though we can't be close together now. Roseanne, now in the Cancer Association, we have uh a division that's called TLC, Tough Living with Cancer. That is more focusing on the children. Um, are you aware of the fact that when a child is diagnosed with cancer that it actually affects the whole family? You know, I've, I've actually never thought of it that way. I'm a mom, so for me, I couldn't think as the kid how hard it must be to have to fight this battle. And then the whole family actually also goes through that experience so having these TLC having TLC is actually a phenomenal sense of support for these people that are going through an unbelievably difficult time yes you know and because we said we also do have um, TLC lodges throughout the country as we have the care homes where the cancer patients stay with us the TLC lodge just focuses on the children and the parents so it's normally a place for the parent to stay while the child is undergoing treatment and all these TLC lodges are also funded by events like Kappa for Cancer and this money comes from the public as well you know to keep the doors open and to keep the mothers busy while the child is in hospital. Manik, you know what, you just spoke about how the funding is so important to an organization like cancer because that's what keeps you going. So Couple for Cancer obviously couldn't happen in, in a setting like the ones that we are used to where everyone gets together and some people just don't have the time or the facilities to host a couple for cancer but you can still get involved exactly. so you guys have got these wonderful range of mugs that people can buy exactly so these mugs are available and people can purchase them from any cancer office throughout the country they are 55 rand per mug and there's um different messages actually on every cup um this one is life and then we have one for laugh, um, which is lovely. And then we also have the love and live. And each cup actually then comes with a sachet of five roses tea, different teas. So if you can't host a cup for cancer at your workplace or at your home at this stage, um, go to the local office and purchase a set of mugs of four. We've been doing so many things online recently, so we can also order these mugs online. Absolutely. They can order online or they can be delivered. So um, each, whichever is the easiest way for you to be able to purchase these cups, we make a plan. And that's from cancer.org. That's right, yeah. Sometimes you don't die because of the pain that you have. You die because of the support that you lack. It was my eldest daughter's 40th birthday party. When she heard the news, she ran away. She absolutely 
ran away from the doctor. Their brain cancer was starting. The situation was very, very bad. Having cancer was really hard for me. I became very drowsy. I had a headache most of the time. I had to miss school. We had no hope. Even the understanding between me and my wife was, uh, was sour. We were accusing each other of not doing enough for our child. As a parent, you want to love your child, fix them, look after them, and you are really challenged when the livelihood and the health of your child is not on your hands. I can't imagine anything worse. He was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, uh, stage four. He had four cycles of chemo of five days each. My daughter's medical aid were exhausted. There were no funds left. We experienced their financial problems because uh, Devin is a bit far. There is a huge challenge for families due to the location of oncology centers because you're traveling hundreds of kilometers away from home. And if you think of the fact that we can have a nice place for you to stay while you're going through this and people that are in the same boat as you, it's, it's an honor that we could be able to provide this to so many families. Because I had a long way to come from Port Edward to here, so they provided me with a place to stay. It made me feel very happy. We have just over 20 cancer care centers across the country with social workers and nurses that are doing incredible work. When I was in hospital, they came to visit. They made me feel comfortable. Joan started me with knitting to help me to get through everything. And I must say that therapy helped me a lot. Having that counseling support and the information and the education plays a major role in the family's acceptance of a diagnosis and helping them to have coping skills throughout the process. This center played a great role. Those financial constraints that we had were reduced by this place. There are so many families that can benefit from our involvement and we can just reach more families and more people. We have wonderful community members who bring us food parcels which just kind of takes a bit of the burden off. If ever this centre could be established in other places, I think many people would survive. We had a scan and the cancer was gone. Even now, the relationship between me and my family is so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I just would like to say thank you for Kansa TLC for standing with us throughout this whole journey. We say thank God for rescuing our child. We also thank the place called Kansa TLC. The good spirit is hovering over here. It's wonderful. Thank you for joining us. We all know how important a great cup of tea is with connecting people and catching up with friends. For the past three years, Five Roses has been the official sponsor of Kappa for Cancer, and we now have the privilege of talking to Dinesh Vijay Wadner, the tea master of Five Roses, to talk about all things tea. Dinesh joins us live from Durban. Hi, Dinesh. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your history with tea? Yes, uh, uh, thank you for having me. Um, it's really good to be here. Um, I'm Dinesh Vijay Wardena. I'm the tea master at Five Roses. Uh, I joined uh, Five Roses 20 years ago uh, after being in the trade uh, for uh, 16 years previously. I am from Sri Lanka. And I guess my passion for tea started at a very young age uh, 
my father and my uncle was uncles were in the tea trade uh, and tea planters um, and my passion grew from there. Dinesh, it sounds like tea runs in your blood. When we talk about tea, what are we actually talking about? When we talk about tea, we are actually talking about Camellia sinensis. Uh, I know tea is used very loosely these days. Um, you have rooibos tea or you have detox tea or uh, herbal teas, uh, you have chamomile tea. Uh, but the word tea actually comes from the plant Camellia sinensis. So you will have your black tea, your green tea, your oolong teas, uh, your matcha, all coming from this one amazing plant called Camellia sinensis. I've heard about Ceylon tea before, but what other teas are there to actually chat about? Okay, so tea around the world uh, is, uh, uh, is about 4 billion kilos of tea produced and drunk uh, throughout, the, throughout the world. Uh, tea is grown in about 30 different origins. Um, and one of the main origins is Sri Lanka, uh, where Ceylon tea is grown. Uh, Sri Lanka was previously called Ceylon, um, and when the name changed in 1972, the powers to be managed to keep the brand Ceylon for tea. Uh, and that's how Ceylon tea has become uh, world famous. So the, the quality of Ceylon tea actually comes from the geographical location of Ceylon, the climate, the soil, the weather patterns, uh, the rainfall, all of this contribute to the unique quality of Ceylon. Uh, Ceylon has a very smooth, mellow taste um, and it's like full of brightness and briskness. Uh, Compared to your African teas, which give you a lot of color, a lot of strength, uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of strength. For me, there's nothing better than a cup of plain rooibos tea, and I know it has quite a lot of health benefits. So, can you tell us what are the benefits of rooibos tea? Rooibos is good for you. It's a healthy drink. It's a proudly South African brand, and I think lots of uh, consumers have been brought up with. Uh, rooibos and they know the goodness that their parents and their grandparents have uh, shown them through the years. Uh, black tea and green tea that come from Camellia sinensis also has a lot of antioxidants, calcium. Uh, it's a very complex uh, uh, beverage. How does one make the perfect cup of tea? Are there specific steps you need to follow? Tea is such a personal beverage. Uh, it, 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 the way you are brought up with it uh, will, will sort of make sure that you drink it in a certain way. Uh, but it, it is a comfort drink. It, it's a drink that you have when you uh, want something to make you feel good. So you can drink tea any way you want. Uh, but there are a few things that you should be looking for when you are making a cup of tea. One is you need to buy a good quality tea. Uh, you cannot make a good cup of tea with a poor quality tea. Uh, the next one is you need freshly boiled water. Why we say freshly boiled is the more you boil your water, you're taking away the oxygen which is needed for the briskness of the tea that you're making. Uh, the third point is the measurements. Uh, so you would need 2.5 grams of tea, which is a general tea bag, uh, and 200 to 220 milliliters of water. Uh, if you use one tea bag and then use 400 milliliters of water, you are going to make the tea weak. Uh, so the, the measurement is important. Uh, and then the brewing time is equally important. Uh, we recommend that you brew your black teas between three and five minutes. The reason for this is that because it's a complex product with uh, a agricultural product which has so many, so much goodness in it, you need to let it draw out and it takes three to five minutes for all of this goodness to come out. On the converse, if you leave it for a longer period, like six minutes, seven minutes, you would start drawing out um, the, the bitterness that comes with the tea. So ideally, three to five minutes of um, brewing time. And then, of course, uh, you add your milk 
or your sugar or your honey, whatever you like it, it's your tea. So now when everyone asks me to make a cup of tea, I'll say I've had tips from the tea master. I don't think there's many people that can say that. I've seen recently quite a few different flavored teas on the shelves. Five Roses has also brought out their own range of flavored teas. Tea has been a very traditional drink, but uh, the younger consumers are virtually demanding change uh, in the trade. So you have the different flavored teas uh, that we have in our range. Uh, they want convenience. So we have our tea lattes, which come in a chai, uh, a matcha, and, and a normal Ceylon blend. Then we have fruit flavors for those who want uh, the, a sweeter version of uh, a tea. Uh, so you have, we have these various blends of flavors and flavor blends to give a variety to the consumer out there, especially the younger ones who are literally demanding uh, change. Thank you so much, Dinesh. We've really appreciated your time. Thank you for having me. Wow, Roseanne, that was very interesting to listen to a tea master giving tips and talking about tea. I mean, I learned so much in this um, few minutes about tea. Um, so I think it's time for us to have some tea. Yes. Would I, you like it with milk? I would like it without milk, even though the tea master did mention milk to me as part of my tea. And do know that I am going to walk around now telling everyone that I got tips about making tea from a tea master. I'm actually going to print it on a t-shirt. Well, I just think it's so interesting because um, I grew up in Malawi where there's a lot of tea and I thought I actually knew something about tea, but clearly I have no clue what you drink every day. And you know what's also fascinating to me is, aside from the different places that the tea comes from, it's the different kind of ingredients that make up each kind of tea. I find it fascinating. Absolutely. And I think we should all plant a tea bush in our garden now at least. No, 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 you can't because then you've got to actually also build the factory no. there because you need all the machines and everything. My garden's definitely not big enough. So we can't have a tea factory in our garden? No. Because we, we, we've got five <laughs> roses. <laughs> so we don't need a tea factory. And we have a signature on the five roses box of the tea master. So He's very famous and we've now just had a master class by a tea master. Great. So enjoy your tea. Thank you. I'm going to actually have mine with a little quiche. Yeah, we're going to have a little quiche. Over to you. Thank you very much. There we are. Over to you. Thank you. And thank you for being with us today. Pleasure. Enjoy Thanks your for tea. feeding me <laughs> and giving me lovely tea. Hannon Botma is the co-owner of the Hannon Beauty brand and he is also a well-known image consultant and makeover guru on the reality makeover show Glam Guru, which is very popular with a lot of people. Let's hear what Hannon has to say. Ek is Hannon Botma en vir jaar geniet ek die Cup of Kansas saam met jou. A cup of tea shared with a friend is a happiness tasted and time well spent. Ek hou daarvan om die boodskap van hoop te verspreid. Want vir iemand wat so pas gehoor het dat hy of sy en die rest van hulle familie die pad met kanker moet begin stap, is daar niks meer belangrijk. Natuurlijk wil allemaal optimistisch wees, maar hoe krijg je dit recht als die toekomst onzeker lyk? Ek het toch altijd gegloe, as jy beter lyk, voel jy beter. So om jouself mooi te maak, het toch waarde om allemaal rondom jou positief te beinvloed. Tijdens ons jaarlijkse kap van kansen krijg ons elke keer die geleentheid om mense te eer wat moedig die strijd gestrijd en om mense te moedig wat so pas met die herstelreis begin het. Om positief te wees moet jy positief lyk. Positiviteit het die mag om oor kilometers heen en oor landsgrense vruchte af te werk. So al sit jy daar ook alleen by die huis, gaan jou positieve voorkomst wel groot verskil. Om op jou mooiste te voel en te lyk, kan jy gerust die volgende 5 denke probeer.
positiviteit en baie te doen met hoe jy voel. En wat laat jou mooier en meer positief voel as mooi onderkleer? Enige onderkleer wat uitgewas en uitgerek is, sal nie doen nie, maar dit gaan jou precies so laat voel, uitgewas en uitgerek. As jou klein broekie en bra by mekaar pas, fantastisch. As het boon op elke kurve en plek druk, so dat jy kan lijk soos 10 jaar terug, dan is jy moos skouperk met die jou. Kies jou uitrusting met zorg. Daai gemakkelijke sweetpak wat jou grendeltijd in die vorm geword het, gaan nie vandag gedeeg word. Wees een bykie wat halsig met kleur, want kleur affecteer ons emoties. Pink, laat jou vrede lewend voel. Geel, maak jou op en wekker voel. En rooi, is een natuurlijke antidepressant. Ek gaan nou nog maar een maal, dat jy elke dag moet lekker ruik. Daar kan jy daai een parfum, wat jy net dra vir speciale geleentede. Maar vandag is daai dag. En waar moet die mens in anspuit, mag jy vraag? Wel, oor ons waar jy wil hee, mens moet van daar af ruik. Doe nie bykie moeite met jou haar, al is het waarschijnlijk uitgegroeid. Het is nou goed en wel om van tyd tot tyd een podiester of een bolle te dra. Maar as een mens dit te gereel doen, dan gaan jy al voel as het jy nie oorleef. Vandag wil ek jy dit nie voel as het jy leef. Tijdens die tweede wereldoorlog het Amerika hulle vrouwe aangemoedig om rooie lipstukie te dra, om die moraal hoog te hou. Nou by die kappe van kense beveg ons een ander type van vijand. Maar een lipstukie maak jy saak wat die kleur nie, het steeds waar. Kijk as jy wel het een keer gesê, if you feel sad, add more lipstick and attack. Elisabeth Tyler het een keer oorlap rek. Toe sy een groep vrouwe toespreek met, ladies, pour yourself a drink, put on some lipstick and pull yourself together. Baie mense het nie a sense of occasion. Die een geleentheid vloe eenvoudig in die volgende, sonder dat al ooit een klimaks was. Om jyself mooi te maak, is toch om jyself waardig te haag. En hier by die kappe van kense, is daar niemand meer waardig as jy. Manik, our focus today for this Cup of Cancer has been on childhood cancer. And Maggie van Weyck and her son Tegan, who was diagnosed with neuroblastoma at the age of two, have got a really remarkable story. I can't wait to hear from her. Yes, and it was such a wonderful privilege that they actually stayed at one of our lodges in Pretoria at Nicholas Lodge. So um, they were very close to the Cancer Association. So from TLC's side, um, they have an amazing story to tell. That must be so great for the people that make it happen, that you can actually see the change and the impact that you've got on the lives of these kids and their families. Absolutely, and the privilege is actually to meet the family and not just the child, you know, and that's the point that we're trying to make with TLC Lodges, is the is a father, a mother, and it's normally other brothers and yeah. sisters and siblings. So we meet them all and we work with everybody in the, in the bigger picture. Maggie van Veek. It all started four years ago. Uh, we had a high risk pregnancy. My son was born beautiful and he was perfect in every way we could ask for. Then we started noticing symptoms, uh, reflux and um, you know, some of the stuff that you don't as a parent normally think of is an issue. You try and find simple solutions for it. You ask the clinic, okay, what can I give my son? This is the problem that will give you a solution and so forth and so forth. But after two years, we realized that his tummy was only getting bigger instead of getting smaller as a hyperactive two-year-old would actually start getting smaller. Being concerned, we asked the doctor if he could just have a look because something's not right. We are a bit bothered. So the doctor said, no problem. Let's have a look. The doctor immediately noticed that something is wrong and he checked and he actually thought that he had an enlarged liver. He sent us for an ultrasound and that was the day they... Sorry. 
That was the day that they found out that he had a tumor. Know what to look for. You have to be aware for your children's sake. Because the sooner it can be diagnosed, the bigger the chances of living are. You have to make sure to trust your gut. If you feel that something is wrong, you have to make sure to have it looked at. The next day, we went to the pediatric oncology ward at the clinic at Steve Beaker. We, we started our journey with the greatest medical team. We could never thank them enough for everything that they have done for us. We were lucky enough that with Tegan, it was localized stage three neuroblastoma, and it was diagnosed early. Within a month, they started with his chemo. On the 1st of November, 2018, he had his first round of chemo. And that's where it started. You think, you see on TV what it's like, you have no idea. This is a journey that I would not wish onto anybody. It was a journey that changed us forever. After six rounds of chemo, Tegan had to go for another scan, at which point they saw that the tumor had shrunk by at least 50%. By then it was safe for them to do the surgery. So they brought in a private surgeon for the surgery and he was absolutely brilliant. Tegan was in theater for 11 hours. And after that, Dr. Stevens came out with the news that they got the whole tumor. <laughs> he was in a pediatric ICU for more than a week. We had to fight infection and we had to pray. We had come this far. We weren't going to give up so quickly with the help of all of the doctors and all of the amazing staff. He fought and he pulled through pediatric ICU. And then after a week, we were transferred back to the pediatric ward. Back there, he had to undergo more treatment and tube feeding and everything just to get him strong enough so that he could start walking again. And he did. And we were so proud of him at two years old this kid taught us what strength was. You don't know strength until you see a child fighting cancer. There's nothing that can prepare you for that, for everything that you see, how these kids fight chemo and nausea and pain with a smile on their faces and just being grateful for receiving a toy to play in bed with. It changes you as a person completely and you should actually get involved somewhere or another if you can donate if you want to get physically involved contact the right people and get involved learn more spread the word spread awareness because with early diagnosis treatment is possible tegan then finished with another set of chemo after he started walking again and he had to go back to theater to remove a urethral stent and it all went well. Then we started with radiation. In total, he had about 16 sessions of anesthesia. That was for theater sessions and with the radiation because he built up a resistance to the ketamine and dormicum. So the only option that they had was to give him full anesthesia for radiation. Otherwise, he could not last at all. On the 27th of August 2019, he rang the bell, he finished his treatment and we still had maintenance to pull through, which was a battle on its own. He had to drink tablets. Now to get a three year old to drink tablets is not an easy task, but he did it and we pulled through. And just last week, we got to celebrate his fourth birthday, which two years ago, we did not think that we would have. Thank you for helping us pull our child through this. And we know that you will help so many more families in the future, whether it's pediatric or whether it's with grown-ups. You do so much for so many people. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making it possible.
It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy some entertainment, this time provided by the incredibly talented Yaki Lo. Yaki Lo has been a cancer ambassador for many years, and he's really gone above and beyond in terms of his dedication to the cause. He's shaped his head, he's written a beautiful song called Ian Miljoen Woorde, which has gone viral. Before I can continue and say anything else, I think I need to now hand over to Yaki Lo. Zij sê, zij sikkel, om te slaap as sy droe, as sy droe. En sy sê, as bitter baie dinge, wat sy nog wou doe. Sy vraag, is jy wakker? Hy sê ja, en sy vraag, sê my wat sal jy doen met een miljoen, met een miljoen woorde. En hy sê, ek sal poetry skryf voor jou mond en jou luid, Ek sal liekies dan maak en ek sing tot jy sla Vanaan soen ek jou in een nieuwe taal vir ons boer kansa wat jylle doen, wat jylle vir ander mense beteken, en ek hoop jylle inspireer jylle. Met 1 miljoen woorde. Minnik, this has been such a special virtual cuppa for cancer, focusing on childhood cancer this time. It's been really lovely. And the weather's held out and we haven't had too many planes flying over. It's been great. Absolutely. And thank you very much for being with us today and for being the MC for this amazing event. You know, children are so close to my heart and I think to yours as well. Yeah. And uh, to actually dedicate this Cup for Cancer today to children, I think um, is an honor. And thank you for being here and for being a cancer ambassador yourself. Thank you. We have to say a big thank you to our sponsor of the Cup for Cancer, Five Roses Tea, and also to our participants, our speakers, the entertainment, and also to all of you watching and all of you who have opened up your hearts and your wallets to support this wonderful cause. We hope that we see you and you see us at our next virtual Cup for Cancer, which will be happening in the next few weeks. From me, Roseanne McKenzie, goodbye. <laughs>